What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan here and today we're going to talk about ChatGPT, which is the newest breakthrough in artificial intelligence. Now I'm not saying that this AI is going to take away our jobs, but it definitely is going to influence the way we do our work on a day to day basis. So today I'm going to show you how you as a developer can be more productive with the help of this AI. So here's a JavaScript library called day.js It's pretty common for parsing and displaying dates and time times and let's say we want to use this library but we're kind of too lazy to look at the documentation and write the code ourselves so we'll go to the chat and type write a function using day.js that returns the number of hours that have elapsed since the start of the week okay it's so writing a function Pretty decent function name. It's the current date and time, start of the week, the difference between those two and hours, returns it, and boom. So that quick and easy, it wrote a function according to the description that we typed into the box. And it even wrote a description of how that function works. Okay, here we have a function called is valid email. So obviously this is not a great way to check if a string is an email address, but we're actually gonna depend on the AI to give us tips on how to improve this function. So we're gonna copy this, go to the chat box and say, write some tips for how to improve this function. And we're gonna just paste the code there. Okay. So saying first, we should use a regular expression. It's saying check for the presence of a dot in the domain part of the email address. Consider allowing multiple ampersands. If possible, try to avoid using the contains method as it's not very efficient. Use index of instead. Add some basic error handling. Now that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I will say, so I actually tried this a few times and it does give you slightly different results each time. But if you give it enough context on what you want to do, it will generally give you some pretty solid advice. So this one's a little bit more comprehensive, so I'm actually going to paste it in here. But what I'm going to ask the AI to do is this. So given three tables, users, videos, and comments, make a PostgreSQL query that, given a video ID, returns all users that left a comment on the video at least three times within the last 24 hours. You know, this is a pretty specific thing I'm asking it to do, but let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, let's check this out. So select all the columns from users, from users, join comments where the user ID is the user ID, join videos on video ID where videos equals this and comments dot created at is greater than now minus 24 hours, right? Within the last 24 hours, group by user ID where the count is greater than three. So to my basic understanding, this looks pretty valid. I would have to actually try it out and test it, but it looks pretty close to what we want to do. And then it even goes on to describe in words how the query works. So let's say you want to learn a new skill, maybe a new programming language. Let's say Haskell, for example, that's a rather obscure language. So I'll say, give me a short summary of Haskell and its use cases. Okay, Haskell is a purely functional language used for a variety of things. What are some specific use cases? Okay, so web development, data analysis. Okay, I've never written any Haskell before, so write a hello world program in Haskell. Okay. Okay, shows us how to compile the program and how to run it. So I can't actually confirm if this information is correct, but it's a pretty simple task. So I can kind of assume it's probably correct. So what do you guys think? Do you think this AI is going to change the world or do you think it's just another gimmick? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, it's Ryan here. Please like and subscribe, support a little YouTuber like myself, and thank you for watching.